we got a winner, baby. Yo, what a finale. I'm your girl, Brad. Welcome to the Brad Game. Let's get into everything that went down this week. This is my last list. Let me see it. Number five, one word. I started off this season with one word describing the kids, but they've changed so much this season, we gonna do it again. Lil Bree, week one, raw. We grew up with them choppers out, guns steady popping out. Now, fearless. Do what I do, try to copy my swag. They were speaking, I was getting the back. Well, Lil Bree came in worried and she wasn't sure about herself, but now she brings it all out on the stage. She has that confidence that makes her fearless. Street Bud, week one, unique. I'm 12 years old. Now, everything. They don't want to see me win. Even if I beg it, I can never beg it. I'm going to start it up again. He's still unique, but now he's courageous. He's expressive. He lays it all out on the table, and then he brings it all out on the stage. Just everything. Ricky Bitty. Week one, attitude. Ew. Just chill. Ew. But now, humble. He co-signing me. Someone get this man up by his head. She had to go through what she did with Jenny. She had to be at number five a few times, and she had to sit down. And be humble. And that's what she is now. Jordan, week one, gibberish. From bottle and paint, selling drugs, a lot of backgrounds are safe. Now, cocky. No discussion. I am the greatest. My mind is made, no one can ever go change it. That's right. He was cocky in the beginning, but now he's earned it. He feels confident about himself, and I think that's great. Rapunzel, week one, timid. This is my foundation, I ain't talking about no makeup. But now, aggressive. Pose like Imperial Space, so bacterial. So trash, I ain't Rapunzel is a girl who knows what she wants. She knows her style, and you can appreciate that seeing how much she's grown. Number four, producers. The kids had three superstar producers work with them. They had DJ Toon, Bless, and they had B. Cox. What more could you ask for? Let's get to the rapping. The role of a producer is important because a song is a beat and word. So if the beat not jamming, the song not hot. They don't say it, no. Mm -hmm. B. Cox, he's right away feeling it. And then he just goes into his magic. Hey! That's the genius of B. Cox. Number three, leaving it all on stage. Man, these kids gave it their all this week. Lil Bree came out in a one-piece outfit, and then she spit a hard freestyle. I'ma get it when I want it, I ain't even gonna flaunt it. Independent woman, that's the only way I want it. Gotta step on my cage, let you feel this race. And the crowd went crazy. She gave an awesome performance. And Rapunzel came out with the boxing gloves on, ready for war. No matter what I do against me, they coming dead last. I don't talk long, but I talk strong. She was ready to fight for that chain, and she did just that. And I'm proud of her, because she gave it her all. Oh, man, and when Street Bud came out on top of that little cart, and then when he got off and he started busting his rock, they don't want to see me win. Kids love that energy. They was all jumping around like some jumping beans, having a great time. Street Bud, you killed it. So Ricky Bitty came out like, this Ricky Bitty and this who I am. I'm in through your city if you with it. I was proud of her because she talked about things that people could relate to. She stayed age appropriate and she killed it. It wasn't all about being pretty. Ricky, pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jordan had a great performance too. I'm so, so fresh, I'm so, so fly, I'm so, so yeah, yeah. He came out on stage, he remembered his lyrics, he worked the crowd, he even took his glasses off. Oh my God. That showed me he found his confidence and he ain't hiding behind the glasses no more. He did awesome. The kids did a great job collectively. Number two, the spec. Everybody versus themselves. Well, it seemed like the only thing in these kids' way was themselves. They had to get out of their head and get into what they were doing and believe in themselves. JD has said previously, everyone's mindset should be outdoing yourself, so I'm just gonna go into it and kill it. These kids have done a great job overcoming their fears and weaknesses, working on themselves to become the best rappers that they can. And that brings me to number one, the chat. Street butt, you are the next so so deaf artist. I'm signed to the same label as the brat. We so proud of you. You got a lot to live up to. So now you got this chain, you cannot stop. Nothing is gonna fall in your lap. You have to do everything that you've been doing, but now times 10 and you have to get better and better. Learn from your mistakes. Don't let nothing get you so upset that you can't bounce back. Put one foot in front of the other and reach for the stars, baby, cause you are one. These 13 weeks have been crazy and up and down for everyone, but it was Street Bud that came around and showed me that he deserves to be a so-so deaf artist. Congratulations to Street Bud, and I'm gonna see y'all next time, next season, on the Brat Game. Before I go, I'm gonna give y'all a little JD impression. You ready? This ain't no game. Say it with me. Y'all know what this is. This the mother Brat Game. <laughs>